all the Americans were just like, wow, this is cool. I mean, guys, uh, wow, sorry, Partha. I, I just for everybody that's coming in, I have to associate these things. This yes. is why your prime minister is so enthusiastic about Donald Trump. Exactly, because Donald Trump is the eagle, he's the maga, he's the ancestor. See, in the Kala Chakra, in the Wheel of Time or Samsara, the Pratipada or Navami, the first day of the new moon, after the new moon and the ninth day, and Indra, Indra means Zeus or Thor. Okay? And then you have the flag, the eagle. I hope you're able to see this. God, I, I, I'm seeing, yes. Yes. So Indra, Indra means king or the seat of throne, throne of power. The animal is eagle. All right. Hold on a second. I hope, I hope Epic is online. Epic. Andrew, if you're online, I hope you heard that, that Trump is king and that's meaningful to you. Wow, Partha. Yes. So he is there in, in, in that place for a reason. Okay. And then you have this, this is India, India and America. So that's why that is, that is the reason why, you know, these things are happening and going back to the internet. So as I was saying, so there is a reason why he said, make America great again, because he is born in Magha. Magha means Eagle and ancestors. Make America great again. This this red cap. It looks like an eagle. And which is the bird of America? Uh, the eagle. The bald eagle. Yes. Yeah, for those who are non-Americans, I will just... Uh, see, this is the bald eagle of America. This is the Magha. This is the ancestors. So some people think that America is a very recent country. Maybe 400, 500 years. No. North America has been there for a long, long, long time. It's just that European settlers, they went later. And, 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 and uh, for everybody that's, that's going to be tuning in in, in America, um, America is the only country in the world that loves their flag and loves their American eagle like we do. Like I'm looking at these pictures that, that Parth has up and I'm thinking, hell yeah, woo! America. And how, and how, how many stars are there in this? How many stars are there? A trivia question. 50. 50. Yes. So all that is making sense now, right? So Magha, yeah. uh, Kala Chakra, Wheel of Time, Trump, and we, and, in the queue. And we, we, we pledge allegiance to that symbol. Yes. We pledge allegiance to that idea. We pledge allegiance to that symbol. We're pledging an allegiance to something that we associate with God in a higher order, which is a fair thing to do. It's, astro it's astrologically a correct thing to do. Exactly, because it is ancestors. Wow. Hi, Ruthie Kelly. Welcome to the Breadcrumbs Project. And uh, wow. All right, Partha. Wow. So in, unless, so that is why I keep saying even on my channel that unless you know astrology, unless you know Indian astrology, you would right. never get in this idea that what is Trump or who is Trump. Trump is ancestor reborn. He is the Magha. He is Magha. Magha means eagle. So that flag that you see, this is only Trump. Trump, trumpet. And what is, what is this eagle in Indian mythology? I will come there. It is called the Garuda or the Phoenix. So as per the Indian mythology, the great eagle is the Garuda. It is famous in Thailand and in other countries also. So it is a legendary bird or bird like creature in Hindu Buddhist uh, mythology. Okay. He is the vehicle of Hindu God Vishnu. So what was Jake Sully riding in Avatar? He was riding 
this. So this is the ancient form of the eagle. So when uh, this uh, James Cameron and this, uh, you know, all your directors, they do something, yeah. they have to come to Indian mythology. They have to. Because Indian mythology and Native American mythology is one and the same thing because all the continents were joined together. Because of yes. the great solar flash and earthquake, these continents got separated. See, the colors also match. See? Yeah. And it is called Toruk Makto. So that is the same thing as Quascotal in South America. So it is a, a South American thing. It's the same thing. Okay. Uh, Central American. Central American. Central that's, American. That's, that's, yes. And, and exactly. people will say it's Mayan. No, it's not Mayan. It's the culture before the Maya. The Maya, Quetzalcoatl, uh, um, yeah, the, the great uh, serpent, the great, uh, the great dragon, the great serpent, um, was uh, the Mexica, where, where Mexico gets its name. Yes. Uh, it was, was from the, the Mexica tribe, and they came from the north. They came from North America into Central America and, um, and found all of these very old stone buildings that we see still. Uh, and they just, they just, they saw all of the art that was there and they just, they adopted it. And, um, and they also had teachers. So Quetzalcoatl was a real being. And so was the um, the great white god. What was what's the great white god um, with the white beard in Mexican uh, lore? And understand that everything that is Mexican, all of this, uh, all of this um, serpent, and all of this that that we're looking at, that's in the Me the Mexica culture and the ancient culture before it, is all based on astrology. The Mexica and the people before them based everything that they believed and timed through astrology. So they were looking at the same stars that, that Partha's ancestors were looking at, and they saw the exact same things. Yes, these structures were not built by the Mexica tribe. They said it when, when Cortez invaded mexico these people marveled at the steel that 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 um that he had yes the mexica could do gold and silver and uh but they, that's all the only metals that they really had to work with they didn't have iron they couldn't carve rock like this they didn't have iron back then guys it's the same thing as the pyramids there was there has never been enough iron in egypt to create one pyramid or even the um, the Sphinx. They're just had the, in ancient and, and, and you know, until, up until industrial Egypt, there wasn't enough iron to create those structures. And in Mexico, they didn't have iron. When, when, when the Spaniards invaded, when Cortes invaded, they had, they had rock tools. They were, they were a, uh, they were a Stone Age civilization. They had flint oh, that was embedded in wood, and that was their their sword. So when the when the when when the uh, Spaniards came in and invaded Mexico, I mean it was just so easy. The Spaniards had had become such a militant country, expelling the Moors, the Muslims, back to the south. That they were just a warring culture. That's why they had to go go do go, uh, conquer stuff. Because if they weren't going to go conquer people outside, they were going to kill each other inside Spain. That's just the way that they just became such a warring culture. They had war horses. They had war dogs. They had they were they had full armor. So when they when they with but a few ships, well, uh, twenty some odd ships that Cortez landed on Mexico, he just went through through Mexico like a uh like a seethe through wheat there was just nothing that could stop him they were bigger 
they were stronger, uh, they were more well fed. The um, the Spaniards, the 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 Mexican Indian people are smaller. Uh, they were basically a, a, a peaceful people, um, except for the Mexicans, and the Mexicans were a warring tribe. And I mean, when they would do battle, uh, 500 of Cortez's men would kill 30 to 80,000 Mexicans over five to six hours of battle. And the Spaniards loved it, man. But look at those pyramids. There, there has never been enough iron in Egypt to be able to work the stone and carve that out and uh, of, of the limestone that's there. You need iron. Bronze cannot cannot cut it and cannot uh, make a good face. It cannot make a smooth face like those pyramids have, both in Mexico and in Egypt. You got to wrap your heads around this thing, guys. There was a greater ancient civilization and they established everything through astrology. And so much so that what we're looking at is the temple of Quetzalcoatl. And at certain times of the year, the dragon, the serpent dragon, has its, uh, its form. And it's just one time a year that you can see this serpent dragon perfectly on his temple. And this is the temple that millions of Central Americans died on to give that, that serpent the souls it demanded from the Mexican people. And this is what I add to the conversation, um, uh, Partha. And there, there, are, there, are, there are pyramids all over the world. And the stone that they are worked in is hard in so many places that it had to be done by iron. Um, India has many ancient pyramid style buildings and the sophistication that is in those buildings uh, had to have fine iron implements to be able to, 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 to work the stone to that level of smoothness, to that degree of detail intricacy. And, you know, up until supposedly the uh, Industrial Revolution, India didn't have that much iron to produce uh, some of the ancient temples that they did. And these things, I mean, look at the level of detail. They have to work that thing for hours, and their chisels had to be resharpened, and they'd work their chisels into a nub. And so you always have a, uh, uh, a, um, a, a blacksmith. Uh, who is always creating new chisels, sharpening chisels around any kind of stone carved uh, area. Any, anything that has carved stone, what's right next to it? A blacksmith. Lots of blacksmiths and lots of blacksmiths assistants because they have to get all the, all, the, um, all the basic raw materials to create iron. So, you know, this is an industrial operation to create one of these temples and Many temples in, in, in India that are fascinating were created in pre-Iron Age India. They're inexplicable by, by uh, modern archaeological um, standards. All right, take over, Partha. <laughs> yes, thank you, Charles. So as you rightly said, you know, the amount of carving and chiseling and, you know, uh, the the furnace work which was done, it's incredible. I mean, the level of detail which is there in these temples, in Indian temples and, you know, in the pyramids and all. So, so that's what it is. You know, the dragon has come back. The dragon has come back. So let me, I mean, Trump is one figure of that. It is, Trump is not telling all these things. We, we are doing it. But yeah, I mean, politically, what is possible, whatever is possible, he is doing it, preparing the world for, you know, these things. But, the dragon is also called as Garuda. It's a legendary bird. It is the vehicle of Vishnu, okay, or a god. And uh, he has immense powers. I mean, he, he can blow off all the gods. I mean, all the gods can be on one side and he can be on the other side and he can finish them all. <laughs> Trump's doing that politically. P yes. Trump stands alone. When Trump first got to Washington, D.C., he stood alone. The Speaker of the House was against him. All of the Republican Party that was establishment was against him. 
every single living, breathing leftist and Democrat hates his guts. Um, to to uh, so, like you just said, he alone stood alone against all of of Washington D.C. and he has won. That's amazing. See, as I, as I was saying, he may be shown with either two hands or the four hands, and he has eagle-like nose. If he is not carrying Vishnu, he holds a jar of immortality nectar. And what did Rahu enter? Rahu entered the Celtic deer head, as I spoke in our first session. So some people have to yep. revise that. So they have to go back and, you know, I can't repeat many. Oh, Parth, I got to create a playlist. Oh, I got so much work to do. <laughs> and uh, in fact, uh, Swan is going into Aruna or Ariga on 3rd June. So Aruna is brother of this Garuda or eagle. He is the one, Aruna is the one who carries the sun. He is the charioteer of the sun. So Garuda is a uh, Garuda is the brother of Aruna. Both are brothers. Mm. Yeah. Recently, there was a uh, there was a movie called KGF. It was a huge monster hit. And the villain name in the movie, the name of the you know, is Garuda. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these things are not coincidental. Nothing is coincidental no. because the game is played at a mind level, at an etheric level. These things are inserted into our reality. That is why people think it's a simulation. It's not a simulation. It's a magical world. I agree. So that is what I was showing. So in the Samsara wheel, the Garuda is in the eastern direction. He is the Indra, he is the Aries and Taurus, his animal is Garuda and his, he has a flag. And just now you were talking about the flag, that you are very proud of your flag. Yeah, it's insane. It's, and, and I, say, and I, and I, I can say, go and, on and on and on. Uh, I mean, uh, I can go on and on and on. Uh, you know, it will be never ending about that. And then uh, there is also one more important figure in uh, uh, in this whole uh, game. It is uh, Shukra. He is actually the guru or the teacher of the demons. So, or the titans. See, Asuras. So, as I said, this world is controlled by the Asuras. So, we are not on the Midgard. We are, we are on another world, another earth. Sure. Earth is controlled by the titans. The Titans is Tartaria or Tartarus. That is why many people are talking about the mud floods and all that. But this earth is also renewed. I mean, whenever the game is over, it is renewed for the new players. So they are the ones who are. And he is the guru or the teacher. That is why, Charles, that is the reason why you first noticed Venus. You said the Venus is looking bright. Why? Yes. Because Venus means Shukra. Shukra in Indian astrology means clear or bright. He is supposed to be bright because his meaning, the name of Venus in India is Shukra. Shukra means clear or bright. Oh, he, my third eye is tingling. Yeah. And he is the guru of the Daityas or the Titans or the Asuras. And he also rules the seamen and he also is the only, you can say, god or deity who has... Uh, the power to revive the dead. Yes. And, and that ability is, it goes throughout history. Uh, one of the most, one of the most famous um, uh, uh, societies, one of the most famous cultures to, to write about this are the Egyptians. The Egyptians talked about reviving the dead it was yes, only through so, the gods and one god that could do that osiris yes. i think it was yes so that is the same as venus or shukra that is why in the uh, jesus story he was crucified on a friday friday is venus venus is shukra and he got resurrected on a sunday so what is the date of birth of jesus jesus is as you know many historians agree is 25th december and what is 25th December? It is the center of Milky Way galaxy. It is the Mula of Kali. So, what? Yes. What does that mean? I'll show you. God, what? You're so smart. 
<sighs> I'm glad you're driving because I know, have no idea where we are. I'm so lost. <laughs> So I, in fact, I have spoken of this star. It is, uh, in fact, the star of Kali. It's also called as Mula. It is the ninth yes. the star. Okay. So when you go back to the Kala Chakra, I'll show you. It is here. This direction. It is called the South West direction. So she is here. So all the souls, they move from the north and the Midgard, they come here, they purge, they take their lessons, they understand things, maybe they are crucified or whatever, and then they sure. go to north. So that is why we are here in the southwest direction. This is the realm of the Kali or the Mula or the crucifixion land. So that is why you are crucified here, you are mortified here, people go yeah. to hills and all kinds of things happen here. That is because we are in the southwest. We are not in the Midgard. No, 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 nobody escapes this earth without trouble and tribulation. Yes. Every soul will suffer. If you have money or no money, if, you, uh, if you're a happy person or if you're a miserable person, everybody, every soul suffers. Uh, you know, you, you could even say on a daily basis, you know, people have just crappy things happen to them on, on a daily basis. Um, and, and so, you know, you make that point and, and you, you die on this, on this planet, on this planet, everybody dies, everybody suffers death. Some people have the beauty of, of dying in their sleep and some people suffer horrible deaths. Yes. So, uh, Charles, I hope you can see this. So sun, oh, yeah. sun actually goes into the Mula on 16th December every year, 15 or 16. Okay. I am also born in the same time when the sun was in Mula. Okay. So 16 till 28th every year, 15 to 28 or 15 to 27. When was Jesus born? He was born on the 25th. Right. Wow. So that right. is no, yeah. why he is, he is the one who is the resurrected one. Because he was born in the direction of Kali. Okay, born. and just establish that. Just establish that that date of birth for for everybody in the West that is um, joining in, and uh, and you know, well, that day, you know, Apollo and all. No, that date of birth for Jesus was established by Jewish tradition a long time ago, before quote unquote Christianity came to the surface. So the, 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 the date of Jesus um, has astrological symbology, as we've just learned. Yes. But it wasn't something that was made up as, as modern anti-Christians you know, try to do, especially the academics. You know, the learned academics are always debunking everything about Jesus every day so that nobody can even uh, begin to understand um, the nature of Jesus. Oh, I love this video. Again and again, uh, I come back to this video just to show only one thing. So if you if you remember this, I have shown this video. So Eve I carries this. This is the Milky Way, the center mm -hmm. of Milky Way. Thought comes. Thought, Jesus, all are one and the same thing. Light. This comes from the center of Milky Way. What yeah. is the center of Milky Way? The center of Milky Way is this point, 16 December to 28 December. When was I born? I was born on 15 December. When was Jesus? Wow. He was born on 25th December. So I'm Christ. I'm saying I'm also one of the messengers. Yep. Okay. I can't raise any dead. Definitely. I can only solve my tooth pain with ibuprofen. Have you tried? Yes, I tried. <laughs> Wow, Partha. You know, uh, it, it, see, it was I a connected this. Uh, see, Charles, I connected this obscure video yeah. from, from the center of Milky Way, right? Center of Milky Way. That is what you know. Mainstream media keeps saying black hole, black hole, black hole. There is no black hole. But anyways, the center of Milky Way to the Mula star, to date of birth of to Kali, to southwest direction in Samsaraville, to Jesus. 
I mean, the people who follow Jesus may not even know like what actually Jesus is. He is no. the light. He is the central light. Pardon my shouting, but you know, I have shown this with proof. I, that is why I keep saying I know more about Jesus than people who follow Jesus do. You're absolutely right. You've proven it to me. We've had great conversations going over the, the New Testament, which you know I have great doubt over, but you have, in fact, um, uh, made me see things much differently. And it's much, I, I look at the, the New Testament much more comfortably now because of the astrological symbol, symbolism. And a Christian's going to say, hey, oh boy, there ain't no astrology in Jesus. Well, if you actually study your history, um, Judaism and, 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 and Jesus is filled with astrology. All you have to do is talk to Partha. Yeah, if they are patient enough, they will understand what I'm saying. Because I'm a very soft person. I am not yeah. a person who, you know, uh, you know, pushes things. They're not. Throat. They're, they're not going I, to listen. Yes. They, 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 they're, they don't have an see, entry point. Yeah, this is, I can see, but many people have, you know, think that semiconductors and these things are like, you know, normal things. No, that is a Solomon's temple. Semiconductor is Solomon's temple. Beautiful. The design of a semiconductor is same sure. as Solomon's temple. How many? Absolutely, it is. See, see the design. I mean, yeah, easy can that get? Look at that. And probably you and I are uh, have electrical field backgrounds. Uh, yes. And, uh, so, uh, so my hypothesis is very simple. So what actually happens is which uh, Einstein initially accepted ether or ether, which Thor uses the electrical universe. Then Einstein was forced, I think, not to talk about ether. Initially, he accepted that ether or ether bends the light. But what happened was, I think he was pressurized by Illuminati or somebody not to talk about ether. And that is why he kept quiet and he started talking about gravitational lensing and started talking weird things. But initially, he was very much into electrical universe. Let me state that very clear. And because of the electrical universe, only the light bends or, you know, it comes. It's not because of gravity. Gravity is a very weak force. Gravity cannot bend light, period. Period. That etheric energy or that electrical energy which comes from the universe that is only used or harnessed into the semiconductor. The guys who actually work on semiconductor, they themselves don't know this secret. What is Solomon's temple? What is electrical universe? How the energy is harnessed? And that is why we have long or big towers in the world. I mean, I'm giving a ton of information. So all these buildings you see all over the world, okay? Yep. They are actually reactors or harnessers of energy. Many people may not know it, I'm telling you. So the ether or the aether contains that energy and these towers, what they do is they harness this energy. And this right. is what Tesla's free energy agenda is all about. Let me, let me hit you with what I know, Partha. All of the, and, and, and this is for the people watching. And you can, you can take what either Partha and I say and, and you have to do your research. If you dismiss it out of hand, you're ignorant. If you do some research, you're going to be amazed at the things that we have to say. All of these obelisks are made of, of, of a, uh, a type of uh, a stone, a granite stone that has uh, a frequency. So if you hit these uh, obelisks with uh, a hammer hard enough, you don't have to even hit them hard. You get a, a, a frequency vibration. All obelisks came from Egypt, okay? And... They're all very, very ancient, and they all have a frequency. Granite, uh, depending on the amount of quartz it has in it, because all granite has quartz in it, uh, all granite has a frequency. If, if, you have, if you cut it right, you can make granite ring. Uh, I, I sit on top of a granite mountain. That's, that's where my, uh, my apartment is. And, um, and we play with quartz and granite all the time, and it gives off vibrations. And who would, in their wildest of imagination, can think that Partha can connect Spider-Man, astrology, granite, obelisks, ether, energy, electrical universe? Why do they Marvel comics show these things? Now I hope people understand these things. Why? Because Spider-Man, spider, net, web, 
he casts a web and that web or net is weakening and uh and people have to also understand that all of the uh the 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 uh marvel characters that we enjoy uh especially spider-man captain america and all of those uh symbol symbolic people came from a devout jewish writer so even thor um stan lee uh was jewish and uh a, a lot of this that he puts forth in the marvel universe uh a lot of it has astrological jewish norse um uh groundings because stan lee was into that kind of stuff stan lee was like us really curious and had to write his stories and the, one of the things that made him so popular um in the writer's room is he could act out the stories and he could give life to all of these these characters he knew these characters that he was talking about uh and all of the the, the american writers um and, and people drawing them they were looking at him and these characters are stan lee representing ancient 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 uh mythologies built around astrology that all right partha you know thor comes to wakanda the magnetic shield goes down he brings down the lightning and all the bad souls they are burst out and the good souls don't die many people did not even ask that question when thor hits his uh, you know hammer in the <coughs> war why you know bad people died but good people did not die because wow. it affects only the bad people they don't affect the good people so don't worry guys the plasma is safe so that is the star coming back that is the garuda and that is see da vinci's all the da vinci's paintings you see the you know son uh, jewish uh, i mean uh, 13th 13th man jesus son of man he is in the center with his 12 sons so i was saying in the kala chakra there are 12 sons in the wheel of time there are 12 sons and he is the 13th one opiucus is the 13th sign everything is astrological and uh, and you know is vitruvian man so etheric body and the physical body so da vinci knew everything and and he knew the golden ratio yes he knew, he knew the golden he knew ratio the golden ratio mean ratio everything he knew and and he was very astrologically based he was so that's it charles uh, i think this true man show and all i think i'll show some other damn little tired now So, yes yes yeah. i will end with only one thing maybe charles you can continue see this this cross actually is t this is the t t means crossing crossing the plane of samsara so this with this note i am ending my presentation <laughs> wow good job Closing that's why it's that called way. cross it's it's called cross because you are crossing the samsara wheel with 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 the with the light with the with the flash with the yes. flash of jesus with the light yes. of jesus yes so according yep. to jesus is light yeah you know jesus most better than most christians that's for sure wow partha um thank you so very much for this lecture uh i am grateful for it uh i'm going to make you rest